For this episode, we're making a handful of different desserts. We love dessert, don't we? We do. It's my favorite time of the year. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hi, I'm Matt Taboni. And I'm Brennan Gorman. And this is RHA Eat. Season 2. Alright, so for this season, we're introducing something new, a little different, a okay. little fun, All right. and that is the wheel. The wheel. So this wheel is going to determine what we are making for each episode. So Matt, why don't you give it a spin for this episode? And we're making desserts today. So let's get to it. Let's go. So today we're gonna to be making our favorite desserts for you, including a chocolate box with chocolate covered strawberries, s'mores cupcakes, and then red velvet cookies with cake batter. So red velvet cake cookies. Yeah, that's the word, yep. Are they cake or are they cookies? I don't know yet. So when are we deciding? All right, so now we're gonna start our chocolate box and chocolate covered strawberries. So you might be wondering, what is a chocolate box? It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a box made out of chocolate. And it's gonna be nice and cute. You get to put the strawberries in, like a little gift box. I don't know how to make it, but Matt does. So we're gonna start by melting down some chocolate. So we're gonna put it into this Pyrex or a bowl, whatever you have, throw it in the microwave, short intervals on like 50% power, stir it up, and then we'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, so while Matt is working on the, uh, the chocolate, I'm making a square out of aluminum foil because apparently that's gonna help. I hope so, at least. All right, now we have another tip by Brennan. I'm gonna take a little coconut oil and put it in our melted chocolate. That's gonna make it harden a little bit thicker and form like a shell wherever we're putting it. So Matt's gonna use it to make the box and then we're gonna also use it for our chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. Because we cannot temper the chocolate. We're not attempting that. We're, we're not. No. No. So now that we have the boxes made, we're just gonna put them in the freezer until they get hard enough to be able to construct the box, which will be the hardest part. So now it's time for our chocolate covered strawberries. I have washed our strawberries. We're gonna put them on a board, cutting board, whatever. We're just gonna dry them off. We don't want wet strawberries when we are, when we're covering them in chocolate. Just a few. That look good? That's good. We only have one box, so. We do only have one box. You really don't like talking whenever you're doing something. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm focused. I know. Why do you have to be so focused to make chocolate covered strawberries? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, it's ugly. All right, so then this one. Or, or, or you can turn the pan around. You can turn a pan! We just need you to stay together and we'll be good. All right, our chocolate box is done, all hardened, as well as our chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. And I gotta say, Matt, you, you did a good job. You did pretty, pretty good with that. I'm honestly impressed that it didn't fall apart yet. It, like, it's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's unique. It I think is. that's the word. It's a unique chocolate box. Yes. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. If you wanna make it for your significant other, a partner, a friend, yourself, um, Definitely a great, great gift to do. Who so, would you make it for? I think, aren't you alone? Yeah, but it's still like a good just dessert to have. So I, I probably just make it for myself and eat the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm gonna put one more on top right there. And there you have it. Our chocolate box with chocolate covered strawberries. That looks great. I gotta say that looks good. All right, so now it's time to make our s'mores cupcakes. So for the actual cupcake, we're gonna be using a standard devil's food cake mix. Matt does not like to follow the instructions on the box. It's too simple. So it's Matt says, simple. screw it, we're gonna do our own thing. So what do we do differently? So instead of the box, which it says, you just use one one third cup water and two eggs. Any vegetable oil? oil? No oil. No oil, okay. I'm gonna try it. Why hold it like that? Like what? It's just so odd to hold a Pyrex cup like that. Oh, we forgot to mention we preheated the oven to 350. That's important. That is important. So to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, we're gonna put it right in the Pyrex. A little bit at a time. 
We're pouring. We're pouring. Got to make sure they're even. Ish. Even ish. If they're not all the same ish, then some are going to be gooey and some are going to be dry. Ish. Ish. Uh huh. All right. All right. It seems like we have some breaking news in RH8 Studios. I've just received this Duncan Hines box from the Devil's Food Cake. And Matthew Jaboni earlier said it would take 12 to 15 minutes to bake these cupcakes. How long does it bake for, Matt? About 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. 12 to 15 minutes. Now I'm seeing for 24 cupcakes. Do you see that? 18 to 21 minutes. You heard it here, folks. 18 to 21 um, minutes. But this is 12 cupcakes, right? So That's like, not maybe. how it works. We have another 12 over there. So, again, breaking news in RHA Eats Studios. It will take 18 to 21 minutes to cook our cupcakes, as opposed to the 12 to 15 Matt had said earlier. Matt is a liar. Back to you, Veronica, in the studio. So now it's time to make our cupcakes s'mores. S'moresified? Smortified? We're gonna sm Oh my god. So we're gonna put marshmallows on top and then put them in the broiler for them to melt so the marshmallow will become the frosting. Easy enough. You don't have to make frosting, you don't have to like put it on top, you just throw it in the broiler. For how long? I don't know. We're, I'll tell you after. We're gonna play around with it. Also depends upon the strength of your broiler. All right. Oh no, they're all falling. So now we're gonna take this, again, we're gonna put it in the broiler for maybe a minute, maybe less, maybe more. Probably less. Less? More. We're gonna keep an eye on it. You don't want it to be burnt, but you want it to be a little melty. And there you have it. Our s'mores cupcakes are now out of the broiler. We put some graham crackers, some chocolate on top, and they look, they look delicious. They, they look, look really, really well. good. I, better how, than I thought they'd be. How long did we put them in the broiler for, would you say? Like a minute to two minutes, depending on how strong your broiler is. But you want it till they're perfectly golden brown, then you stick in the graham cracker and the chocolate, you break that crust. Beautiful. I think it's great. It looks great. It yeah. looks great. All right. Now we're gonna start the red velvet cake cookies. So we just need two large eggs, a box of red velvet cake mix, and a third of a cup of oil. And we're just gonna mix them together like we did the cupcakes and get things rolling. Production, can I get some parchment paper? Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna fold in some white chocolate chips. Oh, uh, that's good. That's, that's good. enough. That's All right. Funny. I don't know. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna throw this into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Are you sure it's 10 to 12? Yeah, because okay. I read the instructions and I follow the instructions. Okay. All right, here we have our red velvet cake cookies with our white chocolate chips. They look, they look really good. They do. They look really good. Nice big cookies. Let's see this. Ready? Ooh. Wow. Break. Look at that. Can you get better than that? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. So that is our Just Desserts episode. That was a lot of fun. It was. I, I, I like dessert. I'm excited for season two. Season two is going to be fun. We're going to yeah. do some new things, some challenges. The wheel. The wheel. Yeah. We're going to bring some new people in to cook with us. Yeah. And maybe some surprises. I love some surprises. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on RHA Eats. We'll see you soon. Have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe. Press that notification button. Bye. Still really good, delicious. No, it, it, looks, thing. it looks really. Oh, oh god. Looks like. Do we have more chocolates? I believe just.